everybody, Mary Katie K here, coming to you guys with just a quick story about me and my braids. So, um, you will see a couple of clips um, of me talking about my crochet twists and all that good stuff, but in the end, I end up taking that hair and doing these. So, let's go ahead and watch those and come back to present day. What's up, everybody? Say hi. Say everybody about to go to bed. Mama had a quick video. I'm about to go to bed. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? All right, guys. I am getting ready to do my hair um, this week. So I want to guys. I um, want to show you my collection of. Free Tris crochet braid and model model. So I have the Free, free Tris long Senegal twist in the color number 30. I have three packs of this. I have three packs of it in 530 and then I have several in black because I'm going to do my hair line, not all together but in different times. So one time I'll do maybe an all black set. I have enough hair to do a black set with some burgundy mixed in. Maybe put the burgundy in the front. I have enough hair to do black with the 30 mixed in or 30 in the front. So that's why I got the color coordination that I got. And then I have a million gazillion packs of this um, Model Model Glance Braid Long Senegal Twist in the 26 inch. And I got the color TT30, um, which um, it starts out black and then it has a little bit of 30 mixed in throughout. And then by the time it gets to the tips, it's a bright 30. Not once, not twice, but three times. I did my hair in crochet twists. Now, the first time I did the crochet twist, I did regular twist around the perimeter, left out about two, three inches up here, and twisted it up, um, the Senegalese twist. I twisted it up myself, and then I crocheted the back, like I do a micro sewing. It was cute, but it wouldn't lay right covering up the crochet. I didn't do it right up front up here. So I got frustrated with it. I wore it for a day, took it down. <clears throat> Braided my hair back up. I looked on Instagram, saw a lot of great braiding patterns. So I did the straight back braiding pattern. Um, and then I did circle in the back. Where I messed up was I did this side straight back when I should have used this side to go all the way down instead of doing this straight back and stopping. So you, I did straight back method and then I twisted up and back. And you'll see I have a little bit of footage. I was going to show me talking and stuff, but I'm not. I'm just going to show you a quick minute montage of everything that I did. Tried that way. Didn't like it. Didn't work. Tried straight back. Didn't like it. Didn't work. But what it, the main thing was that it was so heavy and I realized as I was putting it in, the twists were so micro that no matter how many I put in, I was also going to have space, spatial issues and coverage issues. And I couldn't stand it. So I took it out of my hair. All right, guys. I just want to show you my progress so far. I started braiding my hair on Saturday morning early and I got all everything done the crown done I worked on it a lot while the kids and husband were asleep then husband left and everybody started waking up and oh my goodness it took forever so once everybody went back to sleep I stayed up from about 1130 till um, 2 30 in the morning just getting the front done I made them really really small up here really micro sized up here and then I'm gonna, of course, you know, there'll be various sizes like always, but I want to show you what I got for a day. Redid them the next day, one for, I mean, it was horrible. So I spent my whole fall break for homeschool doing my hair. Horrible. So once I caught up on laundry and all that good stuff, I decided to go ahead and take a weekend and rebraid my hair because I have been exercising and stuff and I'm tired of throwing on wigs. I'm ready to just have my hair done. So I've been back at it and I want to make sure that I'm ready and good to go. So I really love my hair. I wanted that length. Which I did get. All I did is add in one strip of black in the middle. And then, of course, it has the ombre effect because it goes down to the ends, which are crinkly from the twist part. But they are also the number 30 hair. And as you can see, it has the black all the way up. So I really, really like it. I used a, my 
thin strip of black and I made sure that it ended before the braid would end and that way I could have not only the dangly part but towards the end be 30 so I really love the way I did it now I only used not 10 okay like I had when I crochet twisted my hair not 10 packs not nine not eight not six this is five packs maybe five and a half of crochet twist hair that's it five and a half maybe five and a half we'll say six but honestly it's not that that's it that's it guys that's it and the way the hair works the people say there's 30 in there some of my packs had 30 so most of them had 28 so I will say we'll just say 29 29 plaques per pack that's not a lot of hair but when you put it in there as crochet twist oh my god you have so many in your head and plus these are the micro and they were the 26 inch so they were extremely long and they were extremely small tiny um and I'm very, very glad to have the color that I wanted in my hair, but mm -mm, I didn't like that crochet method at all. And I also have some other crochet twist hair, some black and some red, and I also have some regular just 30. I'm just going to use it for braiding hair because I have bought a couple of bags of braiding hair, but I was going to start doing braids for the next year. And so now I have all that hair. I can just use it for braiding hair because it worked very, very well with this. And so this is it, guys. Um, the products that so I've been braiding using my hair, I put this on the actual hair and then on the root of my hair I use the shining jam with the honey in it on the root of my hair and it really did work well I see why they use it now um, when shops use this to do your hair when you braid it they put it at the root because it really does grasp all the hairs without giving you a hard hold and I put this on the actual braiding hair that I use in the twist hair that I used to braid with because it helped um, keep my hands moisturized and keep the hair moisturized while I braided it and then I also put some of this on the hair before I dipped it in hot water um, also I sealed my braids um, at the end with super glue. Just put a drop of super glue on it and right before I finish my last little part of braid, braid it two or three more little loops and let it dangle and dry. And then I also dipped it in the hot water to soften the ends, not necessarily to hold it. I did that to steam the ends and soften them. And it came out beautiful and I love it, love it, love it. As far as my roots, if your hair is tender, your roots are tender, you can put this cactus oil serum on there. It is so cooling on your head and it feels so, so good. I've also been using cactus oil on my roots and then I have this mixture here of just oils um, it's in this bottle but it's not this oil what it is is the wild growth hair oil wild growth hair oil moisturizer and Jamaican black castor oil those things are all mixed in here and that's what I've been putting on my hair I put this on my hair every other day and um, my serum I usually try to put them put it around my edges it's really really good about soothing those edges it's really really nice so that's it guys I plan on rocking these for a while let me show you the length and see if you like it oh can't even see you got to get low 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 there we go so yeah behind length alright guys that's it for my story on my crochet twist crochet no way ends up doing box braids and I love it